Hello, have you ever looked at a couple and wondered what exactly puts them together or why they are so passionate about each other? Well, here on Why We Tie The Note, we are going to listen to stories, exciting and lovely stories of people who have come together and they have decided to exchange their vows. Welcome to Why We Tie The Note, only on MN Arts Africa, where you get value for both your time and money. My name is Moke Nyakundi. Welcome to MN Africa. This is the show Why We Tie the Knot. We had taken a break for some time, but we are back, of course, with a very amazing story. My name is Mokenya Kundi, and today on set I have two uh, amazing people who happen to be a couple, and they have agreed to share their story with us. So today we are going to listen to the story of Willie and Lucy. But just before we get to know who Willie and Lucy are, so we can get to have a word of prayer and then we continue. Let's pray. Our Father and our God, bless you. We honor you. We give you all the glory. We give you all the honor for everything you've done about us. Thank you for giving us an opportunity to share our story, oh God. May it impact lives out there in the name of Jesus. We bless you. We honor you. In Jesus' name we do pray and believe. Amen. Amen. And today we are blessed to have uh, Willie and Lucy who are here to share their love story. Of course, they are just about to tie the knot. So they are telling us why they are tying the knot. And we would love to know, me and of course my audience, we would love to know um, who is Willie. Let us begin here. Uh, my full name is uh, Willickson Mugesani Kayeli, uh, a young man from uh, Luyaland. Yeah, from Vihiga County, of course. Yeah, and I'm born again. That should be underlined in capital. And I love Jesus as my personal savior. And uh, I'm a firstborn in a family of four, having two sisters and we are two brothers. Yeah, and I'm an upcoming husband. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm an upcoming husband. One who is ready to take up the role of a husband to this lovely waiting to be wife of mine. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and that uh, makes a brief introduction of who I am. Wow, thank you very much for that introduction. At least now we know who, who Willie Son is. Yeah. Now, over to you, Lucy. I'm Lucy Mudoni Njoroge. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm a born again Christian from Katondo North, that is Kiambu County. Uh, I'm a second born in a family of four. Okay, so at least now we, we know who they are, we know who Willie is and we know who Lucy is. The reason as to why we are here is to know how you guys met because the bit of the story of your lives that we are interested in is from the time you met, this thing, you know? Wow. So we want to know who goes first. <laughs> Yeah, definitely I have to go first because I'm um, the yeah, we are all hunters. <laughs> yeah, so as a hunter, you always have to give a story of how you started hunting. <laughs> and uh, yeah, it's been, it's been years back. Uh, it started with a, with a phone call. Uh, yeah, it started with a phone call. Apparently, it wasn't intended, it wasn't intended for, for her. Yeah, I was uh, I was answering back to a, I was answering back to a missed call. It happened to be picked by Lucy, and I was like, uh, was she was she the one I was intending to call? No, but uh, she, since she picked up the call, I decided to run a conversation because I was the one who had called, so I had to make sure I explain why I had called. So. I made it so brief because, uh, first of all, I didn't know who I was talking to. And uh, since I was curious also, it's a lady who has picked my phone. So I opted to, first of all, take a break from that phone call. And uh, yeah, I had kind of the what else should I be saying? So I had to end the conversation and now come back again. So, Why did you come back again? Uh, I don't know. I don't know if, I don't know the saying of love at, now, now since mine was not at sight, <laughs> <laughs> love at first voice call. So 
I just happened to be triggered by something through that voice. So after that, niliamua, niliamua, let me pursue this number. Let me pursue, let me pursue and see who really she is. And uh, at this point, where were you? At that point, I was living in Kisumu. Where was she living? She was in Kiambu. God Almighty. Mm -hmm. She was in Kiambu. Mm -hmm. She had never been to Kisumu before. She she never knew anybody from Kisumu. At that point, I had never been. I, okay, I was. I I had come to Kiambu probably some years back, but I didn't have any other any other thing making me to come to, to Kiambu. Come back, yeah. yeah. So I was like, okay, Kiambu. I don't know anybody from Kiambu. So it got me. It got me like a uh, ebu uh, check out to one. So out of that curiosity, and uh, by then I was, yeah, it, by then it's some years back. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I can say comparing my curiosity back then and now, mm -hmm. uh, and knowing very well back then, uh, I, was, I was in a state where probably was I looking for or I wasn't sure if I was looking for. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You know, you, you are not scared. You've never seen this person. I've never seen this person. I'm not sure if she's tall, if she's short. I can't put a description. I can't put a face to that voice. But I just felt convinced that uh, I should just know her, even if it does not add up to anything. To anything. Yeah, let me, let me just know her and satisfy the curiosity that, hey, Nili Piga, a wrong number and apparently ni a lady who picked up and Neza Takatu Kumzua. Okay, so Njia za Mungu ni mingi. Njia za Mungu ni mingi, kabisa. see this guy has called Kumjui, Ujei Mwani, and Atuka Kisumu, Ujei Nda Kisumu. He's, he's making a second and a third and a fourth call. What's going on in your mind? So I was like, now, who is this? Should I reply again? Should I quit? To some extent, I ignored him. And I was like, this is a new number. Tunafatu ungelele nini. But to some extent, I entertained him on this basis, on the, on the basis of friendship. Mm -hmm. So I, I just said, let me give it a trial and see what happens. So it happened. Uh, another, I was in Bible school back then, 2016. Mm -hmm. So another lady from... From back home. From Luyaland. Strangely. Mm -hmm. We were studying with her. Mm -hmm. It happened, she know really. How that happened, I don't know. So I, I got some information about Willie from that lady. The lady told me, you know this guy is a youth leader, he's this, he's that, and I'm like, okay. So I can, I can entertain him to some extent, because I was very strict. Actually, yeah. if you if you can tell, mm -hmm. I was very strict. Mm -hmm. I almost said no to friendship. Imagine, but at least I give it a try. And the rest followed. I think to put a clarity on her statement, there is something she's not painting out clear. Uh, how she came to know a friend who happened to be my my can I say my homemate back at home. Yeah. Yeah, so I asked her what, where is she specifically in Kiambu. Uh -huh. So she told me she's in, she's in church, that is Word of Faith. She's, and I asked her, okay, other than that, what else do you do there? She told me she, she's in school. She's doing Bible study, Bible school, Bible study or? Bible school. Bible school, okay. yeah. So, and I told her, ah, by the way, I happen to have also a homemate who is also doing the same course mm -hmm. over there. So I didn't know I was placing myself in a scenario where she is going to inquire more from her mm -hmm. yeah, you concerning me. <laughs> you best it and the layer to a channel. So at the end of it all, she ends up having an upper hand, Mimi Simjui, 
but she is getting now to know to know you yeah and that is how she ended up so could this be the reason as to why you landed on a, a missed call that was could it be that your roommate maybe called you through her number or how definitely i maybe, think maybe i think like yeah that. i think it might ha- it might have happened that way probably but connect your story now yeah okay. i <laughs> <laughs> ali tumia ali tumia phone call yake kunipigia and i think akakumbuka no it wasn't the right thing to do so she like and she uh, was not there to she, the call and in fact she never even told me about that <laughs> so me i was like i was just answering back a missed call now flash forward he will be still in the lair for how long <laughs> before ibadilike if we what we know right now we we've known each other for like almost 7 years. Yep. Is that right? Yeah. It's almost 7 years. Um we had to meet finally. And we met here in church. Mm-hmm. <laughs> now now that we had something in common. A church yeah. word of faith. and uh, we we ran some conversations so I, i i didn't want to be really close to him i was not sure but on ilikuwa zile za should i give it a try or na sasa hiyo jamaa anajua chini anataka most probably bila <laughs> but the intention was friendship mm. nothing much end. yeah from his end i was just open it is friendship mm. where it ends nobody knew mm-hmm. but after some years three years mm-hmm. of friendship mm-hmm. actually i was referring to him as my mentor he used to help me a lot because of my conversations too Yeah. Alikuwa yeah, anikon solo. Yeah, definitely. You know, mm. I'm just <laughs> just a small girl mm-hmm. in Bible college. Mm-hmm. I don't know much. Mm-hmm. I just Umetoka bazuri. Sasa tutajishaji. Niko na rafiki hapa. My conversations, my encouragement and those like, huh? friendship like unajua as a hunter or uh, when you're pursuing something you have to see the end result but if something keeps on revolving around the same thing mm. over and over mm. over and mm. over mm. you eh yeah, uta feel like no i think i should just let it go kama ni mabesto kwa dawa wengi so you don't have to keep on <laughs> adding <laughs> <laughs> that is not so me nikafika mahali nikaona i think uh, Kwani what else am I doing here? Tutakuwa tukipiga tu story. This thing has to this thing has to have an end result of it. Like Mimi I can feel the end result of it but she's not getting it. So what do you do? See you put an end to it. So I decided to put an end to it. In fact I was the one who decided to put an end to it. Nikamwambia I think ended. Yeah, yeah but sasa after putting an end to it a month or two later nikaanza kujiuliza by the way did i just even do kwa sababu na feel i'm so much more in need of that you know i used to talk to her she knows me kwa sababu anajua mimi ongea sana so she used to offer that listening ear so i used to pour out kitu yote yenye na feel probably it has been challenging me throughout the week or nimelan kitu and i don't know who else to share mwenye ataipata venye ni me venye ni me grasp she used to offer that platform 
so I could come and pour it out to her and I'm going to be like, this is what I've been doing throughout the week, this is what I've learned, this is what is pushing me, this is what is challenging me. And she could tell me, yeah, keep on, like, and get offer that kind of encouragement and you feel like, ah, I think this is the kind of a person who can feel and mm-hmm. motivate. She used to offer that motivation. Mm-hmm. And that motivation is like when I feel, yeah, exactly. So I used to tell myself, so, Will this motivation be back to happen to cover motivation on or I can take it to a higher level? Mm. So my intentions was taking it to a higher level. But the person I'm intending to take to the higher level is very comfortable where she is. <laughs> exactly. So fast Plus forward. you're very far away. By the way, I'm very far away. She's in she's in Kiambu, me I'm working in Kisumu. Mm. So there is no way that I can be like coming over just because of a friendship, you know, you can't be coming over to Unakuja Tupo or Rafiki. Exactly. So fast forward after, within that three years, then uh, I think I, 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 I invested in my intentions. You know, unetoka kwa ulukona intentions, but you've not invested in them. So I made my intentions very clear. Nikamambia, now this is it. Mimi hiu friendship, I think, imetosha, tumifanya kazi ya kutosha. Why don't we crown it with something else? So she's like, what? By then, I don't know if that was her. She never even thought of us being an item. Is that true? Yes, I was very young. Very young, with dreams. I want to go to college. I want to go to Yes. I was like, new Rafiki, and that's Imagine. it. I don't know this person well. I'm very young. How, how do I go? How do I go risky? Yes, please. I felt that I, I, I need, I need to know so him more. So after three years, what you make intentions clear and they could hit by the way. Maybe we can be something. Yeah, and the friendship, we were so close. So Pia Omisha develop uh, kind of, but I'm not sure. Yes. yes. You don't want to date, but Tire, you don't want to lose the ball, but you don't want to date yet. The friendship was like a collateral. <laughs> <laughs> so like, virus eat could have benefits to Napoteza. So it was like a stepping stone to anything you want between us. She was focusing on her dreams, her goals, but as you can see me, I'm now on the other level focusing on something else. So our goals tend to be kind of colluding Kidogo. So she's like, you, you already there. Why can't you wait for me to get there first so that we can, we can, we can align together and move as one. When you've done something, let me also do something so that we can move as one. So it was like, of which you agreed to. Of which I had to agree. Yeah. I had no otherwise. <laughs> so I had no otherwise. So I had no otherwise. So I had no How do you even go tell her parents that you want to marry her at that age? I feel um, I'm, I, I'm not enough. I'm, not, I'm really not enough. Bado, bado si jamaliza ku pata vitu zenye nilikuwa nafikiria. They make a wife. You know, all those things. Yeah. So Ilifika Mahali, I think uh, the bond was the bond was too tight until she could not hide from the fact that she's also feeling the intentions to take it to yeah. the other level. So I had to work on that so that uh Mishia Akue like I accept now we are working in this other part of the journey. But I had to make her also feel the move, the urge for it. And Nani uh, mm-hmm. time, but it, it required time. Something I didn't know it would have required that time. Because I've known three years later, you're still building a friendship. Now, after that... <laughs> when you need to have patience, so you come a generation, okay, you belong to this generation, definitely. Yeah. But I don't know how many people in this generation have that kind of a patience. Well, mm-hmm. when I'm able to hear, you know the way Christians are, we, we say, mm-hmm. Uh, let me go pray about it. And give me I did. I did. Give me two months. You did. Yeah. Yes, please. Huh. <laughs> when I'm going to give me two weeks, 
Give me a month, give me two months. Mm-hmm. You're here talking about three years. I love to say you are Three years of friendship, and then you're given time to pray. Mama, yeah. how long were you given to go and pray? Mm-hmm. To go and seek God? I really can't remember exactly, but I, I took time. I prayed. Mm-hmm. I had to be sure. Sing it like a mess. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because as for me, I had already, I had already had that, that confirmation in me. Mm-hmm. Komba, she is the one. I just had that, that inner peace. Komba, she is the one. However much I had alternatives, like I could think of, why don't you, if she's taking all this while, why don't you just move on? Mm-hmm. You can still make it out. In your place of yeah, work. Yeah, in a place of work. You exactly. So why do you why do you just have to stick with her? But I still felt that urge that you just have to wait. You have no other ways. You have to wait and give her the time she needs. So and I was like, ah, God. So Nikasema Nisawa, I'll give her the time she needs, but also you have to place a timeline on it so that it does not take forever. Yeah. Exactly. So I used to remind her by the way. As you are praying, are you still getting the confirmation or the answer you are still seeking for? So that if you are not getting that answer, I will not be able to get the answer. I will not be able to get Yeah, so I waited and I think within that year, uh, come November, Unona? I will not be January. Come November, I will not be able to do travel from Kisumu, go meet her and have a, and have a discussion. Go meet her, have a discussion and come and be, I'm dedicating this full day, not some hours in that day. I'm dedicating this full day. I want us to discuss matters us so that uh, to do it, are we, are we moving? Are we, is there anything productive coming out of us? Am we to never give each other the space that Anaitaji? So I think up to that point, it downed on her, how serious you are. Exactly. Yeah, so I was, I was taking this step by step. And I elevate from one level, and I take it to the other. Uh-huh. I want to meet your pastor and your parents. Because mm. when well, generation you say, kaende, kaende. Kaende, kaende. Mm. you know? Yeah. Mm-hmm. So in fact, uh, that is our youth pastor. Mm-hmm. I was like, okay, who is this person coming? I was like, oh, si jari, mimi na kujua. We don't, you don't want to, you don't need to worry about me. But we join me na kujua. And this is the intention as to why I'm coming to visit you. So, and I told her, I was like, now, I was like, 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 Hey, why would it? Yeah, so, I was like, I was like, okay, have we seen this guy before? Amanini. And that is where we will go, why the confidence? Yeah, you had a lot of confidence. Exactly. Right? We, on that particular Sunday, on, and you sat, okay, <laughs> I even know where you sat. <laughs> Yeah. Exactly. So, Nilikwanisha kuja Praya, we had a discussion na Pasi and he listened me out and uh, I believe Ali pata confidence na Mimi and uh, he felt like, uh, okay, um say, he's, he's a straight guy. Yeah, he's a straight guy. Mm-hmm. And Kama ame, ame amwa ku travel all that kukuja just to notify me of this and uh, kumambia kwamba I'm interested in her. Aniambie, aniambie, aniambie what, she, what he feels about it. Mm-hmm. And he was like, uh, we will talk tomorrow after the service. So me, deep inside Nikazua, I just felt that confidence. That is why Kwa Church Nilikuwa Nimekana, your confidence. Mm-hmm. Here. I'm here to stay, you guys. Exactly, I'm here to stay. <laughs> and just to, to, to highlight, yeah. him meeting my pastor and to some extent, he's my daddy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. At our he sits on two. You can mm. imagine. Yeah. He, the occupies. <laughs> he occupies. He occupies. He and I are sasa, he can pay confidence in Guinea. Mm-hmm. Ah. Mm-hmm. Nikona sasa, I in seriousness. Sasa. Come on, I say, take your corner pass. You come and meet, uh, 
mchungaji na mzazi mm, at the same time yeah, lazima ninge ninge wangepatana na pasi nikue shua na pa, na pasi aone and at uh, uh, to some extent kwa macho yangu mm-hmm. yeah, yeah. mm-hmm. lazima respect chenye angeona and uh, that way I was so, sure first and issue our mm-hmm. youth pastor yeah <laughs> first and issue and get them a no history leo katuke <laughs> 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 yeah. so now she has accepted mm-hmm. you've sat her down mm-hmm. properly mm-hmm. and yeah now this is the direction she has accepted mm-hmm. you've seen her youth pastor who actually occupies two seats in her life mm-hmm. so amekuona amekukubali mm-hmm. so now you know you are pursuing something yeah yeah so at this point mm-hmm. are you thinking of a wedding yeah now now that i uh, already have uh, her pastor's blessing now what else other than to plan for a wedding so first things first i had to go for an introduction to her parents place that was around may 2019 and uh, i organized we went we did the introduction at that point everything in my life was moving smooth like everything was okay i had everything figured out now the time that we were the time that i was to take her to my place for introduction hiyo ndio wakati nilipoteza job oh ya kisumu so lucy umeenda ku there is something again that is very special uh, that we need to highlight to the audience out there mm. you know um being being africans and being kenyans and being the way god created us we belong to different you know communities mm. and we have people having challenges when you're dating somebody who's not of your community ninyi mnaweza kuwa hamna shida with each other but when you get to to see the parents or the mchungaji by that time it even goes to wachungaji as in, and there is nothing wrong with that you know culture dies wrong mm. so we don't blame ule mtu mwenye anasema huku eh, for example mimi ni mtu wa Kiambu now that we are based in Kiambu mtoto wangu hizi wa Kirinyaga ati mtu usinilete mtoto wa the other side you know and there is nothing wrong with that we are we are we are embracing modernity in, with different rates at different times sure. so hakuna kitu mbaya mzazi akisema hataki hii you have to understand where they are coming from and you have to let them know where you are coming from so did you guys experience that so no job hapa mali tuko ni wakati wewe ndio umeenda kwao how did your people respond what were the twendo who happened to be kikuyu and his lawyer who mm-hmm. lived actually in kisumu mm-hmm. and anakuja hii side did they feel like mtoto wetu anaenda mbali sana did they have that or wow when he embraced modernity kitambo it was hallelujah we are fine so my parents yes. uh, i had prepared them earlier nilikuwa naambia you know uh, naweza kosa kuelewa na mkikuyu <laughs> eh because you had seen that that yeah, yeah it was kind of na wapima nione reaction yao and they were like it's okay to no, akakuja home mm-hmm. he was accepted and everything was running on well yeah until he lost a job yeah so me lose job say you umemaliza college unaanza kuhasa yeah nilikuwa job nilikuwa mm. job so really job and, and uh, i had faith uliko tu unajua atapata nyingine yeah uwezi acha mtu atiju ame lose kazi yeah who knows tomorrow we are on on our behind the scenes to go to ngia na wili kidogo tukasema people are left for petty reasons yeah petty reasons kama tribe kwa wazazi inaweza kuwa big deal lakini kwa mtu wa generation yetu it's a big deal I consider it petty yeah. you know, you are sure, very sure. petty be because sad. the personality of a person whom to a meokoka because mm. now you are in charge are they responsible are they willing to pick up responsibility are they loyal kiona mtu wako na hizo values kama anatoka atukana me honestly so we didn't put a job lucia de mwacha so if you are out there na acha watu wamepoteza kazi 
Hmm? Hmm. Here they are still Bili inaenda ikikuwa more beautiful even after the loss of her job. Will you mepoteza kazi? How did you land in Kiambu? So, nimepoteza job and nimepoteza job in the midst of planning planning uh, an event like she's supposed to go home. She's supposed to go home. After that nafaku organize for the dowry and after that pen organize for the for the wedding. So ikakuwa kind of uh, okay I would have done it back then but sasa nikajiuliza would it be realistic for me moving forward if I'm not sure what lies ahead and uh, bearing the, the the nature the nature of my type you cannot just make some decisions kwa sababu amesema kwa na faith yes i also have faith <laughs> but yeah kuna inafika nga mahali practicality pia inaku inakuita kando inakwambia my friend huyu akuji kukula imani <laughs> eh hey, anakuja kukula chakula how 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 practical is it that uh, if you get this done now vitu zitakuwa zitakuwa poa so from that nikabidi nikabidi tuitane na yeye kamkutano kidogo nikamwambia saa hii itabidi we, we pause kwanza we give it a, a, a slow down kidogo until we get everything kwa sababu naona pia nikiacha job nilikuwa nimeenda unpaid for like five months So kianza job. Uh, before ni poteza job, juu ni kipoteza job ni ku resign ni resign kawaza. Mm-hmm. Unajua you've worked and uh, you've, not you, been paid. you've not been paid. So what you've been living on ni zile vitu zenye umekuwa ki savings zako zile zenye ulikuwa una accumulate. Mm-hmm. So nikajiambia if for the last five months nimekuwa niki live on my savings then what happens after now? So fast forward after hiyo nikamwa and at that point tulikuwa bado tuna debate na yeye who should be moving nani anafaa <laughs> yeah niko kisumwa kwa I would love to excuse ourselves mm-hmm. from our audience mm-hmm. we are having background sound that uh, we cannot do anything about it so bear with us okay. mm-hmm. yeah thank you So we had to we had to make a, an agreement kwamba nani ata have to move yeye ndiye atakuja Kisumu ama mimi ndio nikuje Kiambu So we had some discussions viewing all options at hand mm-hmm. then uh, ikaonekana mimi I'm flexible to make the movement kuja pande kuja pande hii mm-hmm bearing bearing na state yenye ilikuwa at that point she was better placed kukuja but adaptability yake huko nikaona itakuwa ngumu mm. so i took the i took the sacrifice nikamwa yeah, nikamwa let me come start a fresh kenya to a place where it is unknown husbands love <laughs> your wives as christ uh, to the church yeah ivi akawacha mbingu Exactly. Aliwacha aliwacha kila kitu alikuwa nayo. Yeah, exactly. Akakuja mahali hapajui. Yeah, the okay, so so. You need sacrifice, you know. Being African, you know these are these are our roots we can not run away from them. Being African, so are Christians. Kuna ile unajua the Bible says leave your father and mother leave your father and mother but mm-hmm. Kiafrika ni a lady shall leave yeah aje akuje wherever the guy is mhm aje unaona yep so but your case mume way options mm-hmm. na umeangalia what is favorable ukaona mm-hmm. ni vizuri ni kimu yeah unajua kuna wengine wanasema whatever it takes a woman has to remain um, a woman or mm-hmm. a man has to, to remain, remain a man a man kama leo unasikia nasema ni provider so hata yeah. kiumana whatever you do you acha ajipa aha so in your case you move mm. you have come to i have come to, to kiambu hauna job sina job nimekuja ni manza fresh so william kuja alafu manyunyu ya covid ya meanza ya manyunyu ya covid ya meanza and uh, at that point when i was coming that is when people are being laid off no see all laid off no 
I was lucky. Lucky. Bado nilikuwa tu job. Bado nilikuwa tu job. Mm. Na bia mkuja kiambu sasa. Eh mkuja kiambu na hana kazi. Tuambie from a lady's side. Unajua kuna wengi wanangoja kusikia what what was going on in your head. Amekuja hana kazi ashakuja kwenu mm. kuna tarajia kwenda kwao. What's going on in your head right now? What do you expect? What are you telling me? Mm. I was hopeful. Mm-hmm. I knew probably we were praying and we were trusting God. In the midst of everything, we believed something will show up. And indeed something showed up. Alipata opportunity. Mahali. Mm-hmm. During two year lockdown. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Wow. Yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. So um, now you are here mm-hmm. at least kwa na job inaweza kulipia rent mm-hmm. you have your transport to work mm-hmm. you, you have somewhere to begin mm-hmm. sasa unaweza fikiria kumpeleka nyumbani thank you lakini covid ndio hii mm-hmm. tumefungiwa Nairobi ah hatuwezi enda hatuwezi peleka covid hatuwezi hatuwezi toka kwanza tunaenda kwa watu wazee na ndio wako mbali na roho Okay so we are taking a short break and that has been the story of uh, Willie and Lucy wamekutana now uh, they are narrowing it down to visits then they are wedding and covid is here and um, he just lost his job he's gotten a new one but kuna covid but then there is another bomb that mm-hmm. yeah so we are taking a short break thank you for tuning in and uh, thank you for choosing this youtube channel mn africa my name is mokenya kundi and i would really really love to urge you to you know share subscribe share the story widely leave your comment if you do if you would love to share your story mm-hmm. kindly put it on the comment section below so that uh, we can consider airing your story as well we are taking a short break we will be back after some short while so that we get to know ni gani hii ni bomb gani hii ile waangukia so that uh, from 2020 mpaka sasa hii 2022 ndio tunaongea kuhusu harusi yao Welcome back to MN Africa. I'm glad that you found time to watch and today we are having a love story eh? mm-hmm. of uh, Willie and uh, Lucy. They are tying the knot. This is why we tie the knot on MN Arts Africa where you get value for both your time and money and we are back to get to know more about this lovely couple and of course ikuwe an encouragement kwako wewe mwenye uko na love life yenye inapitia challenges wao walipitia yao as well na now they are tying the knot so let's get to the details eh? let's get to the frying pan now kuna mahali waliingia kuna mahali waliingia na tukutuka eh tukabaki tunawaombea neema yeah in fact after nimepata job the first thing that came to my mind was to activate the the plan yenye nilikuwa nimeilay on hold kwanza that was to take her home kwa sababu hiyo ndio hiyo ndio bit ilikuwa imebaki mm-hmm. so that was around april so nikajiambia since there was a lockdown nikajiambia come come probably say august that is four months later nitafanya aje that is when tampeleka home so we planned and we laid everything on, on paper tukajua ah, come august we were anticipating that was the time kutafunguliwa and true to our expectation that was the time kulifunguliwa yeah. so here we are was it the end of july yeah. to me plan vizuri nisha inform what to home we will be coming the first week of august or probably the second weekend of august and uh, to pange pange tu ni takuwa aje we had everything planned so another thing strikes up and uh, that is when that first week of august akaanza kuniambia her feel poor and akiniambia her feel poor she is able to do everything she goes to work anafanya kazi kwa nyumba but she will just complain of headaches like i'm feeling some kind of headache palpitations nini ni i'm like hizo labda ni wewe unatembeanga sana mm-hmm. uko kichukua mat i mm-hmm. encourage her to be taking mats from her home to work jo alikuwa anaona naweza ni place anaweza kukava akitembea mm-hmm. so not knowing that it was going to be something serious akaendelea within that one week 
but apparently hizo nini hizo symptoms aziku they didn't lower down mm. so one morning akienda kazi nikamwambia no you should not go to work first of all go for the check go for the check up go confirm aita ku cost anything just kwenda kuambia daktari this is how i'm feeling atakwambia oh probably take this medication sama kama ni pain killers then from there you proceed to where to work to work so she was to go on monday she didn't go on monday aliona amechelewa acha ende kazi so on tuesday i insisted tuesday akaamua kupitia hospitali and boom come you cannot be you cannot go back to work and i'm like what do you mean you cannot go back to work akambi wanafa kukuwa admitted that very moment mhm so i'm like i just told you to go for a check up i didn't tell you to go for admission <laughs> yeah so wakati amefika huko akanipigia akaniambia my friend i need to be admitted right away nikamuliza kwani what is it akaniambia if you can find time but sasa nilikuwa kazi so i couldn't find time nikamwambia call who call pasi mwambie kwa sababu hata tu ako amemwambia venye alikuwa na feel jo alikuwa anaona tu ni kitu ya kawaida tu after all si ni headache na palpitations na zinakuja tu zikipotea potea zinakuja zikipotea potea so nikamwambia what you have to do call them right away mwambie umeenda hospitali na mwambie you need to be admitted only for her kufika huko after ku symptoms zenye alipeana kumbe it was for a very serious condition and that was her blood level ilikuwa imeenda chini mm-hmm. it was below normal it was it was below even like a norm- normal okay <laughs> <laughs> yeah. we're laughing okay um, the audience might wonder what's funny mm. it's because we we can laugh at uh, where they have been mm. yeah, because true. it's a story of victory yeah sure but at that time there was nothing funny yeah true there was nothing funny on the end of course they struggled with it but i quote to inaza exactly. fitika even when it got to our ears there was nothing funny mm-hmm. there was nothing funny at all mm-hmm. let's continue yeah so ikawa what needed to be done alikuwa admitted in fact the hospital lenye alikuwa ameenda check up they could not handle her condition so they thought yeah akamwambia of this kind of condition we need to refer you kapele kwa to another hospital just within hapa Kiambu so akaenda kapimoa blood levels zake a normal blood level should be around 11 12 ikikuwa chini sana but akapatikana kwa na 4 so they were like how are you even walking with this kind of, yeah how are you even walking how are you able to do whatever you are doing how have you been able to go to work like as we are speaking now unafaa kuko una unaekewa damu you see na kama macho yako imechi it's allowed it's okay mm-hmm. so you see him in here by the way growing up as a child did you have health issues no not at all kahoma kadogo not at all at home labda kahoma common gold in a shape sasa hii ni mimi hapo tunaongelea unajua si ya mimi si ya si ya si si had we live of course your family and we live had the biggest share of the tension mm-hmm. but of course and the rest of us who are your friends now this is your body what's going on in your head i'm like we in the midst of many plans now this how how if we hapa like is it witchcraft <laughs> is it a disease i was confused but what was, was that hand ni unafaa uwekewe you can imagine you can imagine to some extent nilijaribu kuko fight na daktari na ambia hapana no that cannot happen lazima ninge seek a second opinion and uh, yeah that is what was happening you, you, my blood levels were down second opinion your blood levels are down yeah and reasons no one knows the reasons 
-hmm. It is not known. No, it's 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 going from one hospital to another. Mm -hmm. Going through processes you cannot understand. Yeah, because they want to confirm. Mm -hmm. At that point, they are not saying anything. They are just saying you need to and yeah. then they, they discuss. They can, they can proceed. Mm -hmm. So I'm just there asking God questions. And why, why me and why now? But you know what? It reaches a point. You ask questions, but the position of God remains. Mm -hmm. He still remains to be sovereign. He still remains to be God. No matter the situation that was at hand. But he was still with me. Nikiamka asubui nilikuwa naona bado tuko na Mungu. Kama nimeniamsha hakuna hakuna sababu. Hakuna purpose bado. But I'm telling you for sure it was not easy at all. It was not easy at all. Nilikuwa nafikiria on behalf of Willy. <laughs> I'm like, hey, should I quit? Ana manisha bado ama ana fikiria sana anona aje like nilianza kufikiria on his behalf, but he was here telling me, you know what? I know what is going on in your mind, even. You without telling me, I know. I know. Kuna vitu najiambia uko ndani, lakini I'm here. I'm here and I'm here to stay. Lakini sasa najiuliza, shuali. In condition, <laughs> where are we heading? Is there hope? But I'm telling you for sure, he stood with me. Mm -hmm. So up in week one, mm -hmm. mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. when she's supposed to be in Western, she's, yeah, she's, in she's on her drips, her yeah. blood. Mm -hmm. And the doctors haven't said anything. Haven't said anything. Wow. Mm -hmm. So how many days did you stay in hospital? I mm, think and it was for a week. And you went home? Yes. And that's I. Imagine. Well, and, um, in fact, I remember uh, we decided with her that it should be a classified kind of uh, process. We don't open it up to the public, we don't open it up even to friends. It will be within a very small circle. Yeah, Mimi na yeye and our parents. In fact, at my parents at home, mm. they didn't know about it. Mm. You saw it twice, Susiwa? Yeah, I saw it twice. In fact, even her own parents hawa kujua at that very moment. Ilikuwa tu ni pasindi alijua. And uh, tukajembia, let us first identify what we are dealing with. Because we've not even placed a name on it. Mm. At that point, I kiko a hospital within that week. The doctors were even afraid to conduct tests. Because they were running into conclusions. They were running into conclusions. They were running into conclusions. But as for us to go to Mejambia, we are not going to any conclusion. We have to identify the cause and uh, seek the way forward. So, to answer your question on how you came to know about this, if you a place now, you can't go to the supermarket. You can't go purchase pints of blood. Even in a hospital, you can't go purchase them. Mm -hmm. They always advise you, reach out to friends, reach out to family, reach out to people who can come donate so that we can do the transfusion. So at that point, we had no otherwise. 
<laughs> we had to break the circle and uh, reach out to people. Mm -hmm. And who are the first people whom you could reach out? Mm -hmm. Of course, your other family. Which our is other family, which is the church. Mm -hmm. So you come to the church, tell people like, uh, we need people who are going to donate, donate blood. blood. And they're like... That was now the second uh, now that is this Now that is the second transfusion. Mm -hmm. It so didn't take long before. It didn't take long. In fact, care. yeah, in fact, the moment I go and I the moment I go and drain a lot. Like it couldn't stay in her body. So, I mean, so, even within a week. So, so we could like, okay, where is this blood going? First of all, I made it to last week. How be it in Aisha to Damnisha to How does it like? So, what we are going to like, okay, to donate and who you many hakai and attack Adam like people because. Ukiangalia Lucy by Lucy Kuki Mwangalia and a car. Yeah, she was very healthy, she was very in shape, she was mm -hmm. okay. Mm -hmm. But whatsoever is happening inside of her cannot be explained. Akipimo Tundio. Ndio Najua. So like now we had to reach out to the church. So to reach out to the church we had first donors, waka peana, waka peana damu. Yeah, so we didn't anticipate Kwamba it will become now a cycle that it will be happening monthly. We didn't anticipate that. Mimi home now, Lizo, you are to bring a visitor. <laughs> <laughs> what happened? What changed? Or Unipata candidate Mugine Ama Ali could turn down. But now how do you explain to them? I couldn't tell them that. No, Ilikuwa naambia tu ni shughuli. Shughuli zimekuwa mingi. Our, <laughs> our calendars are not even matching at all like they used to. Alafu mm. pia with the current lockdown sasa hizi tunaogopa pia ku travel kwa sababu now we used to tukatumia covid kama excuse at least <laughs> travel kwa sababu atuji tukitoka huko. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. So ikakuwa ni hivyo. So hapa nyumbani umesha kuna covid kuna shughuli Kuna shukuli wanongoja. Meanwhile you are waiting one kama dami ya huyu itasimama. Kama itasimama. Ama itanini. So you are already on the third, fourth transfusion. Mm -hmm. mm. Ooh. Church watu wali show up by the way. Church, yeah. Hey, maze youth church yetu jo. Mm. Wali show up. Because of Big people time. wakona enda tena wanato. Yeah. Wana. People will donate. Tena. People will, in fact people will call. Wanambia, we are here. Tuna, tunaenda wapi. Kutoa. Yeah, like uko he. Hey. Ebu shikilia church. <laughs> yeah, church <laughs> family. If you are your list, it's worth. Yeah. If you, church if family you are is, under our voice, church family is, is very, very is, important. Yeah. They might Sapila. not have money to yeah, offer. They might, they not, might have not have money. Have, but in this case, blood is life. They were offering their own life. They were offering life. their own life, yeah. To yeah. support our life. Thank you, by the way. It's an opportunity to support Yeah, something. yeah, sure. Yeah, you can. Look at the camera mm -hmm. and say, Thank yeah. you, thank you so much. Everyone mm. who was concerned about my health, mm. sacrifice, sure. everything. Mm. Thank you, thank you so much. Mm. Yeah. You saved the life. Yeah, yeah. yeah. The reason I'm here today to yeah. testify. Yeah, sure. So, who joined the home? Mama, I've got this point on you. What was she saying? Hey, hey, I beg. My mother was frustrated. Confused, hopeless. But she had a son. Wow. <laughs> wow. A son who was not going to mm. Who was giving the reports, probably in an encouraging manner. To hang a trust. Ninge mwambia kitu, hang a trust. And probably when you look I bring out. Siku wana energy yangu, personally. But after energy yangu, alafu, upate energy yako, alafu upate ya mzazi. Ili weze, imagine you are the person who is involved and you have to report to everyone who, who, what is happening to you. Umelazo peke yako. You have to report to everyone what is, what is happening. You have to be positive. Because are coming in. Yeah. You have to be positive, you have to be strong. Mamangu used to call. I report in Ampatia, near Kujikaza, Lakini, Aliguana, William, Aliguana, 
encourage and I want you know tumefika hapa and yeah tunaenda hivi na usijali it will be takwa sawa so she had really ni alikuwa na encourage anampea hope anamwambia itakuwa sawa yeah 